and finishing up down here with the uh, final turns. No more events and the uh, allies get first dibs. Uh, trying to shore up their uh, victory point hexes here in Basra and Abaddon and maybe retaking the oil field. Love to see what we really need to do is just beef up and get ready for the last push of the Ottomans. But there you go. And uh, that's pretty much it. To tell you the truth, the Ottomans own Mesopotamia. They got, they got it all set up even got some pushes into Persia so I'd say it's a it was a good good Ottoman game if they could grab themselves at least one of these cities or two definitely be an Ottoman win I would think but well let's look over the victory conditions get ready to make some moves here it is the uh, allied second player turn and we will see what goes on with this reorganization all right then. <clears throat> Excuse me, here's what we were doing so far. Each of these supply units have a. Uh, and you gotta, you gotta keep it down. It's, it's early in the morning, everybody's sleeping. But, uh, yeah, we spent the supply unit here and sp spent the supply unit that was right here because we are going to entrench. We are going to entrench. So two supply units and the reorganization fees being spent for entrenchments and also we have a unit that is spent to the door to its static side with a four hex range uh, in Basra we have an entrenchment we have a British Infantry Division. If you want to get specific, it is the where'd you go? 18th Indian. So it's kind of interesting the different units and nationalities in this game. They are entrenched in Basra. Right here we have a UK tank company, but underneath them are entrenched. These are the third LAH lay, whatever whoever those are. We have to look it up historically. But they are also entrenched. And that will do it for the second Allied reorganization phase. Uh, now we will spend supply move and combat. Alright, on second thought, that supply unit that was here in Basra. Oh, I knew there was a reason why I didn't do that. Because you know, he's surrounded by his own to control, so I'm just leave him mobile. He can't. I was going to go ahead and switch into static, but I must have noticed that earlier. And that's why I didn't do it. Alright, so no luck for that. I was going to use him to get these guys to move, but I don't think he can. Uh, Trace supply line for enemy zones are controlled. Be back. Alright, Allied player expending supply for to place combat units and supply for movement and combat phase. There you go. Expended. infantry from Fail into Abaddon. Now the key thing of it is this air he has to be within four hexes of supply which is a supply unit right here. One, two, three, four. The uh oh let me see if we got supply down here. Nope. Oh uh, 
the Ottoman player. Has a little supply. That might hurt. We'll see what happens. But uh, no air response allowed. And he only makes it by one hex. This supply would have kept him out. One, two, three, four. So the supply unit here definitely helped. And uh, we get air support. Be back. All right, I'm trying to make a grab for the oil fields in town here. At, I'm not even attempting that one. Schuster oil fields. And uh, the British have their support. Some partisans, cavalry, and a tank came on up. The rest of them are going to sit back. Entrenched, entrenched, and entrenched for column shifts. Alright, here's the game I was telling you about. It's by Ajad, and uh, they make some really nice games here. Uh, this one's, this one, once you get the hang of it, you get to learn how to play them in the system. It ain't bad. And we also got some uh, uh, other Ajad games. We haven't done Napoleon yet. Do Civil War, we definitely have done Wars of Succession. We did a great Northern War on that one. But uh, yeah, get ready to fire me up some games on my time off. All right, finishing up the last turns down here. And uh, we got basically the British holding off, entrenched with the infantry division in Basra. And pretty much the same thing going on here. Uh, we have, oops, made a mess. But uh, now, hopefully, zones of control can stop any attack on Abaddon. We'll see what they can do with Basra. How much of a force they can get going. Gathering up. But for right now, it's still going to be the British trying to get a victory point hex. We're back with the attack. All right, then, in this attack, we got uh, 10 allied combat factors. That's basically it right here. You don't really count for combat factory. It just gets the column shift and another column shift. So the tail of the tape is allied 10. Central powers got eight. They got eight forces inside that town. And uh, they'll be under the 125 table. There you go. But we got a two column shift, one for air and one for the armor. So things are going this way. We're ready for rolling. Hurry attack. And the victory point hex. The two. It is called a bloodbath. And under that we have. Oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. And we'll make all units will side with the fewest combat factors. That would be the central powers player. The other player must eliminate those total. May advance. One hex. That is the key. We're right back with the results. Alright, here's the results on British losing a whole division of Indian cavalry. Uh went against the four uh, Ottoman cavalry brigades. Let's see if we can read their names there. The Bedouin Ottoman cavalry brigade and Arab Ottoman cavalry brigade. Kurdish Ottoman cavalry brigade. Two Kurdish Al uh, Ottoman cavalry brigades. So there you go. Here's what's left in this area right here. The Schuster oil fields. Now with uh, some Persian partisans and a British tank unit, and there ain't much to hold on to. Definitely made bloodbath. That'll be it for the British. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, British combat phase the attrition check. We'll be checking for units 
or not in the city. The only one I see is this one right here. But he has a supply in it which will negate the attrition. Third of town, third of town. Everyone else is in a town. Attrition check done. This is what we look like. For the coming autumn in turn. Going for those victory points. Be back. Alright, rolling. For the area of availability. One. Prepare. He's out of the game. British air offensive air in a staging area. Ottoman's got one. We'll be back with the ooh, Central Powers. Second player turn in the end of the game. Be back. Alright, we're finishing up here with the uh, on the Baghdad. And I'm looking over here at some of these uh oh air power Ottoman flyers. <laughs> I'm just looking at my calendars here, just reading up on it. Another thing I wanted to read up on is here. British operations of the Persian Gulf were under the control of their Indian Army, headquartered in New Delhi, or Delhi. Units from it were deployed to Abadan in Persia in support of various British-aligned sheikdoms on the Arabian Peninsula. Gate strength, and then blah, 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 but I'm just... Reading about all these Indian units here and all this uh, information they provide in this issue of strategy and tactics, which is really informative. Like I said, uh, this is a really good game. A uh, lot more playability with the events. And if you had a two player game, you know, this is just one option. You never know how anybody else would play or, like I said, how the events would change it. But yeah, it's a very good game. All kinds of options for being a Definitely low complexity, medium complexity game. But uh, when we get done with this one, head over to some more tactical. We got a whole new game to play over there. Before we get into the latest uh, game I just got in the mail today. Looking forward to putting that here on the table. So we won't have to look at any of these strategy and tactics keeping us busy. Going for uh, extended World War Three from 1945. Interested in that. Alright, so anyway, there you go. We're coming back here for a second uh, player turn, last turn. And we will reorganize. What are we going to do about supply for Central Powers? Out of the units. Alright, for a Central Powers player, in this reorganization phase, this unit down here, you know, as you can see, I flipped him over to static. He has a 3 hex range, but it, he can't supply this guy because he's got his own control issue. I'll keep him here. I don't know if to flip them. I guess I might as well flip him over. He has a three hex range also, but more importantly, he'll be flipped over to supply this guy for the coming movement of combat. But no supply there. No supply here. This one here will be able he has a three hex range to supply unit down here. One, two, three these guys can move. And uh, that'll be it. Oh, how do we put some in supply? Oh, for combat, not sure. What we can do there. Oh. Maybe we'll use him as a static. We'll leave him flipped over. now. He's got a bunch of them though. He's got two of them down there. So we'll see what we can do here. Alright. So the statics I flipped will be him and him. This will keep this one here will keep these guys in supply for uh, movement and combat. But now I want nobody to move with this one so that's what to do. We'll keep ahead we'll move him flip him over for three Alright, so he can move. Oh, that'll come in key, I think, here in a second. Alright, so he's flipped over. He's got a three hex. He can move. He still can't. He can't. Alright, let's see what we got here. 
Uh, so powers reorganization phase, supply phase, expands, ex supply, put units, place combat units in supply, moves units return supply. So expand. I'll expand. Oh, which one do I want to expand? I'll expand this one that's sitting still. Expend this one. That'll put everybody in supply. That'll put him in supply. Him in supply. Him in supply. Him in supply. All right. I'll expand this one here. To put him in supply. So there you go. Everybody's ready for movement. Right back. All right. That's what we got then. They give us markers. So we're all set for the next phase. And that is movement. Move units are in supply. We'll be right back. All right, well, here we are with all the units can attack. We got them all at the supply marker. We will be using air support. Uh, no air support available. And the only reason he could use air is because he's got supply units around him. So now in this stack here, this top unit is not in supply, but the units below it are. So these are the units below it that are going to take part. All the ones that have CP supplied are going against Basra. And uh, we're back. Alright, at the end of the game. This is what we look like. The British have lost Basra. The Central Powers do not get uh, points for it either. So there you go. Let me add up the uh, victory points at the end of the war this is what it looks like they couldn't take it allies held on we're going to add our victory points find out who won and what the margin of victory was here's what uh, happened in Basra Indian Army couldn't retreat they were supposed to put break down in the brigades but they're in Basra and no retreat through enemy hexes our zones of control which eliminated them. All right, that'll do it for our first game here of On to Baghdad. Be back with the victor victory conditiones. All right, well, here's the surprising results. Allies, five victory points. Central powers, only two. Here and here. Allies get Basra. Here, there, there, and there. But you minus the central powers from the allies, the three. And a 1 through 5 is a Central Powers operational victory. So they pulled it off. Definitely came back and uh, did it. Uh, changed history. I think in history, British came straight on up, kicked ass, and took names. But in this one, with all the events and uh, the way this game went, it went to the Ottomans. There you go. We had a great time. It's a good game. Uh, like I said, two players, all these games are better two players than my goofy little solo games here. But yeah, this one was a good one from uh, uh, strategy and tactics. A lot of information about it too. You can read before you play the game. But definitely had a good time on this one. And uh, we'll be jumping to some uh, tactical uh, 30 Years Wars. I can shot. We'll be back for the war room section of the Man Cave. Alright, one more closing thoughts here. Like I said, don't take too much away from this goofy solo play I got here. There's a lot more options, and uh, like I said, this is mostly a, a learn through. But uh, we had a good time with it, and uh, definitely highly recommend it as a nice little intermediate to uh, low level game. But there you go. Had a good time. I, thought, I figured it would have been more of a British victory, but I guess definitely. British definitely needed to come on up this valley more in Mesopotamia. That'll do it. We'll be back with some more uh, war gaming. All right, one last note before we uh, call it a conclusion or not. Uh, on the Baghdad, you might have seen in the video I said something about Basra giving them victory points to the British. I didn't give victory points. I gave British victory points for Abaddon. Basra was emptied and didn't get no victory points for that one but you can see we got our operation unthinkable 
already on the table. Looking over the rules and the uh, uh, counters, articles, and we're ready to get this one fired up. But uh, that'll be it for On to Baghdad. We're moving on to uh, 30 Years Wars. Be back.